Hi tarot loves, it's Ethany and I have a new video for you today where I am going to be showing you my tarot workspace and showing you the current tarot and oracle decks that I have been working with for the past little while. I haven't done one of these videos in quite a hot second. I used to do them every season, very inspired by um, Al's daughter, uh, but I stopped doing them uh, for a while. I'm not actually sure why, uh, but now I wanted to actually show you my new setup because I have a completely different setup. Before I used to have um, my working tarot decks along this side, so I just picked them up, but now I actually have a full set of drawers on my working desk that have my, has houses my tarot and oracle decks and some other bits and bobs you're going to see and then I also have um, a, a big working altar at the moment we've got um, my little it's a little Ostara garland up there from uh, the coven's work with uh, Ostara the goddess this month uh, with my Groot which I don't think is in the video because that was after um, so I'm going to show you the whole thing which is really fun uh, I hope you really enjoy it and I'm actually going to be looking at swapping out some of my decks soon to make way for a lot of the new ones that I've been unboxing <clears throat> as I'm finally getting a little bit of a headway into that, getting it, making a little bit of a dent in that. Um, and before I get started, I received some of the most beautiful, I don't know if you want to call this love mail, by the way, I love getting love mail. <laughs> um, but one of my friends, uh, Carla, she actually works at the local post office pharmacy where I am nearly every day. <laughs> I nearly go there every day. So Carla said to me, oh, I made you something. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so sweet. Um, and did she ever? So I wanted to show you because I was like blown away. So first she made me this felt goddess with blonde hair. And she says, it's me. <laughs> She's made me very slender. <laughs> um, isn't she gorgeous? She's going on the altar. Absolutely. So this beautiful felt, hopefully you can see. I know it's probably not focusing on that, it's probably focusing on my face. Isn't she beautiful? She's so beautiful. And she also made me, there's two more things. I'm so lucky, I guess. Dragon's Blood Protection and Love Magic Oil. So she made me some Dragon's Blood Oil. And this wand. Isn't it gorgeous? It's got a crystal tip. It's got the elements burnt into it. It has my name burnt into it and it's got a bee and a bunch of crystals and it's all wrapped down the bottom with a flower. It is so beautiful. So I got these gorgeous working treasures from my friend Carla. Thank you so much, Carla. Um, I... I was very, very uh, touched by that little gift. Out of absolutely nowhere, she um, she gifted that to me. So thank you so very much. They're going to be finding a lovely home on my sacred space. And now we're going to go and have a tour of my current decks and my altar. So here is my space. I know I talk a lot about wanting to do a little tour video. I'm going to try and keep this camera as non shaky as possible but we'll see how we go um i'm gonna see if i can so it is a little set of drawers it was actually a set of paper drawers i got from um ikea and then i have some stuff on the top so we'll start from the bottom and we'll go down <laughs> dobby is free i got this from uh trish actually in a pen pal she sent me um a Harry Potter themed goodies for Yule and it was Dobby, wee, wee, a little bit just <laughs> a little bit creepy looking so on here I have a whole bunch of stationery um, uh, and things scissors this is a piece of driftwood that is painted with an owl from Lotus and Nightshade 
ignore the dust. I have a bunch of, if you keep looking up, I have a bunch of like cards. And this is a lightsaber keychain. Pew, 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 pew. This one's Yoda's, I think. It says it somewhere. Oh yeah, it does. Star Wars, yeah, Yoda. Um, that I got at Star Wars, uh, at Disneyland, the first trip I went on. Um, you can see Albus Dumbledore, some cards, Pamela Coleman Smith. I've got a bunch of stickers from the Goddess deck that I'm working on, that Spider Grandmother. I have this beautiful piece of garden smoky quartz that I got from Reedy Studio last year. I have my witch's runes, one set of my witch's runes from Laser Girl Alaska on Etsy. And that sits up here. I have, this is also from Lotus and Nightshade. It's meant to be a hair, um, like a hair tie thing with a little, the wooden piece of it is in here somewhere along with like, I've got like fairy pens. I've got so many things. <laughs> I, I like, I like my stationery. Most of this stuff is just like kind of your regular, your regular run of the mill stationery. Um, but I actually love that beat so much I put it on as more of an altar piece. These are the cards from the Herbery. I got this book before it became like a, like, oh, that's so gorgeous, a deck box set, if that makes sense. Um, so I have them up there because it doesn't really have a box. Then we kind of get into in my working decks. Oh, shoot, sorry. <laughs> Let's not do that again, Anthony. Sorry. Earthquake. Um, my working decks at the moment. So I have this little cat peg. I might just pop it down there for now. Okay, so the first draw. These are perfect for tarot and oracle cards because they're shallower draws, but they fit a ton of shit. <laughs> You'll see just how many uh, oracle decks and tarot decks I actually have up in here um, and it is numerous so I have both sets from cosmic cosmic damn it cosmic damn it damn it damn it cosmic uh, someone cosmic on Instagram so she gave me I have both aren't they gorgeous these are little affirmation cards so I have both of them. There was a, like a little card in here that told me who it was from. Cosmic somebody. Sorry, she's really screaming it out of the screen right now. Um, so I have that. I have the Everyday Enchantment Tarot by Poppy Palin on here at the moment. It's a little bit like John Travolta. So, oh no, I showed you that one. I have that deck on there. I have the Awakened Soul Oracle, which should surprise nobody considering it's my deck. I have the Sawyer's Path Tarot, and she has been on here for a while. I actually haven't changed out my work. A many this one hasn't been changed out in a long time. I think since I got it, it's been on here. So so I work with these a lot because I don't ever put them back in order and I don't ever turn them around because I don't read reversals so oh my God, I'm probably moving too quickly here sorry I'll try to move a little bit slower so they the Sawyer's Path <laughs> Tarot has been on here for a long time I also have my money, magic, manifestation cards. So I do money, magic, manifestation Monday. Um, so, and if I really feel, I've used these in readings a lot too. Um, they're great to work around um, if a client has got a business or something and they are 
struggling with financial stuff and abundance than to use them in a reading and to try and build I actually build a reading around them and then I have the self love oracle by Janet Chu and that has been on my on my working space for a really long time All of these, oh, that one doesn't have an unboxing, but the rest of them do. I love this deck for um, romance readings and things like that. Because a lot of the time with people's love readings, they kind of are looking at everybody else and not always themselves so I usually like to end those readings with a little bit of like okay absolutely we need to look at where your love life is at absolutely we need to um, answer your questions but also let's just check in with what you need because you know if you can't love yourself how the hell are you gonna love anybody else can I get an amen up in here and yeah so then it just slides back in okay second draw the Dark Mansion Tarot has not left this space since I received it and I don't know if it ever will, <laughs> to be honest. I love it so much. I don't always read with it for other people, but it's one of my favourites. It's one of my little treasures and I like it. I like having it um, to be able to use. Really gorgeous. This is the standard, uh, the standard edition. Then I have the Magic and Mediums Oracle Deck, which has been on my working space for a long time too. Okay, this is a really, really beautiful deck. I've used it a number of times for Oracle Wednesday. And I use it to, a lot of my witch sessions were closed out with these. I love them for the rituals. It's very, you know, my aesthetic, very witchy aesthetic. It's really quite beautiful. The guidebook is great too because it has a lot of rituals and things that you can do to activate the cards. This should be no surprise. The Lightseer's Tarot, I have the indie version only so far. Um, and this deck has been on my working space and heavily used. I use this a lot for readings all the time for myself and for others. Everyone who touches this deck or gets a reading with this deck instantly <laughs> loves it and how can you not? Chris Ann has done such a beautiful job with this deck. So this lives on this space. I don't think it'll kind of go out of my working. I am kind of tempted to go and get a copy of the Hay House version so that I can wreck that. <laughs> Like, I'm a pretty heavy shuffler. I'm a bit of a brute. Um, and if I, I figure if I go get a, an indie, sorry, if I go get a mass produced version of it, at least I won't be terribly upset. This is the Distant Past Tarot. Gosh, that's, that's a brainer. I have had this on my reading altar for, for ages, like over a year and a half, I want to say because I was using this to 
that color palette kills me. It's so beautiful. I was using this a lot for love readings. I have never done an unboxing or a walkthrough of this deck, um, but I really love it. It's a photo collage deck. I adore it because of the, I love blues and turquoises and greens, and that's very <clears throat> much this deck's sort of aesthetic. It's a smaller deck. It has a, it's a more of a bridge size, poker size. So um, it travels really well. It just comes with a, I don't think this one came with anything. No, it came with a little zip pouch. Cause I got it directly from someone, Dylan, I think. Oh crap, her, the artist's name. I've got that many decks though, guys. Like you're gonna have to bear with me if I don't know. All the names of everybody, is it Julia Dillon? Hopefully, off the top of my noggin. It's very kind of romantic and, and, and that's why I use it a lot for romance readings. So that's been on there for a very long time as well. Maybe the seasonal shift with Ostara. Actually, when you been when you watch this, the sun had would have moved into Aries, and the spring equinox would have happened. So maybe I'll shift some things. <laughs> this is the modern witch tarot. Uh, a pretty recent since the unboxing came out was when this started to this went onto my reading space. You can see the unboxing of this one if you like the vibe. I mean, it reads very, very easily because it is um, Rider Waite Smith based. It's a little bit more modern. I love that Queen of Swords because sometimes the Queen of Swords and being a Queen of Swords, I'm like, why is she always looking so bitchy? Why does she look so horribly unhappy? Uh, a brand new edition is the Mermaid Tarot. I just unboxed this, so it's just come onto my reading space. Uh, coming into spring and and summer, I really wanted to. I might bring out a crack out a few more of my mermaid. I'm feeling very mermaidish. Bought a lot of mermaid stationery while I was away, uh, and. I want to use this more. I actually have a copy, I got a copy of this to do a giveaway too, so, so pretty. I really, really adore this. Ah, I love it. So you can go see the unboxing of that one. So that's that shelf, and then we just, so that fits six, six, oh, I didn't even do the middle shelf. Haha, <laughs> funny. <laughs> the other thing about it is even if you push this little um, tray of decks all the way back, it just hits the back of it and so they don't kind of spill over. Um, this is the golden Art Nouveau that I got in the Witch's Moon for December. And since then, that has been on my reading space. In my reading space, I really like this. It's so shiny and so pretty. And it, it's a beautiful deck anyway. I have the Tarot Mucha. I don't have, I didn't have this one. So I was really happy <laughs> when I, when I opened this up and I got I got this deck I was like yes another really good one for relationship readings having that very romantical um, kind of vibe then I have my bad bitches tarot popped a, a second edition of this deck directly on here once it arrived because I work with this pretty much every day. Um, you know, that's the reason why I create things. I create tools that I want to use. And this is definitely one I want to use. 
and I do use. So that goes there. I have got the Love Pack by Chuck. I can't pronounce his surname. Uh, Chuck Benzinaro. Spenza. Anyway, this is, I don't think you can get this anymore. I found this on eBay. And again, I use this all the time in love readings. It is, like, that is paper thin. Um, but it has these different suits. So one uh, is the luck suit. One is the problem suit. Then we have healing suit. So healing, healing, but that's healing suit. And then we have a, this one here, which is grace suit. So there's, it's all color coded and they're really great cards. I use them all the time. I think there's something like 90 cards or something in here. It's really, it's a big deck, but it's really so thorough around like what aspect of a relationship um, it works in. So letting go can be, you know, is healing. Um, pain can be, you know, is a problem. Um, holding on is a problem. So they're really, really good. So good timing. I love using this. I use this all the time, disillusionment. Um, you know, the knight in shining armor. I use this all the time in love readings, all the time. It's so good to cut through the shit. Um, I often, I was saying how I build readings around my money deck for uh, helping people with their businesses and, and, and money stuff and career. This is the same thing with, I have this layout for love, a healing relationships, fixing them, um, seeing how everyone is doing in them, like what you can bring to the party and all that kind of stuff. And this is just, <clears throat> I, I love this deck. It's been on my, since I got it off eBay years ago. So my, I got this little working uh, tray when my father was here. So this, as soon as I got this, it was like, I put on there. Uh, I have the, I love that deck. I'm, I'm not going to get rid of that deck for, for love and money. Um, this is the Everyday Witch Tarot. We all know and love it. I don't actually have the Everyday Witch Oracle on here though. Um, again, this has been on here for a really long time. Going through these, I'm like, maybe it's time to just do a little bit of spring swapping out uh, to get let some other decks have a play. Now, the reason why I decided to do something like having this is, A, it's easy access, so because I have a huge amount of decks and I'm constantly using them in my work, um, I like to have the ones that I'm really drawn to, you know, around, with me as quickly as possible. And the other thing is, is that I want to make sure that I'm using my decks. So I rotate them and move them out throughout the year. And I haven't done that in a while. So I think it's a good time to do it. This is the Tarot of the Golden Wheel. Uh, as soon as I unbox this, I place this on my working space as well. These watercolor paintings are so beautiful. I have an unboxing of this video, of this deck, sorry, as well. It's quite, ugh, so beautiful, look at that. It's quite the stunner, I think so anyway. I really, really enjoy that deck. I think it's really quite beautiful. Uh, okay, and then last one. So see how like there's, uh, there's four trays, one, two, three, four. So. I can fit about 24 decks on here. That's a good number of decks, plus my witch's runes. Um, I did have some heavier stuff on there, but it was bowing the, <laughs> bowing the top. So this is my last drawer. I have the Textured Tarot by Lisa McLaughlin, which has also been on here for a really long time. Um, reads beautifully a lot of people really love it and are very drawn to it I have an unboxing of this one as well on my channel 
so much work went into this deck. The other thing that I do with my working decks is all the boxes, everything that comes with the deck is put into a bag, like a proper, like a nice bag, and is put into the back of my cup because I have a, uh, quite a lot of large storage space. So I don't have to go rifling through everything to find the boxes of the working decks that I have. I know exactly where they are. So when I switch things out, like say I have a new deck and I want to um, start working with it straight away, I know exactly where to find these these boxes and then I just switch them out and it's no problem because um, it has its own I love that page of swords it has its own space uh, and it makes it really really easy and then we have the chakra healing deck and this has been on my working space oh gosh even before I got this and uh, and I really really love it I had I have one as well that is in order because there's a bunch of cards from each one and I do a big healing reading with it and um, we have a look at what's going on for each one of the chakras. And yeah, that's a pretty great one. So this is a nice big chunky deck and the book is pretty great. I got this in Australia the first time I went back and I've been working with it ever since. That's a pretty good endorsement um, because I, you know, I went back a long while ago. Um, so if you do like this, then I recommend you have uh, a look at the, it would have been a, it would have been like, you'd have to go back a while, I think, through my videos to find, but it is one that I really, really like. Okay, so then I have the Ember and Aura. Ah, oh, they fell. A tarot deck. This is the first edition. I have been sent the second edition. I just have been traveling and haven't gotten around to recording it. Um, but I'll be recording a lot. So hopefully I'll get to it really soon. I really, really enjoy this deck. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing what changes that has been made to it. And yeah, oh, really looking forward to seeing what changes have been made. Really pretty. You can see an unboxing of the first edition on my channel. And yeah, you can also see here that the, the cabinet, the little chest of drawers that I have just from Ikea and I looked everywhere for something is really good, like it fits quite a lot. This is Oracle of the Essences, another Australian deck. Found this one on Instagram where I pretty much find everything, good facts. And um, another really good Oracle deck to close out readings. I've used this before as well in Oracle Wednesday. Um, I use some aromatherapy, I use a lot of eucalyptus to help with my my in my what's it called the thingy oh man diffuser I use a lot of eucalyptus in my diffuser I love jasmine I love cinnamon I love lang lang uh, so but I don't use I'm not an aromatherapist I just have a very like I know oils for like magic and and basic healing stuff right like healing magics and I know most herbs and things like that from a magical standpoint because that's kind of how I came to it if that makes sense so you can see a full unboxing of this on my channel as well and then I have the albino weight. Now I, a friend of mine actually, a student of mine actually, Susan, um, uh, Shiora had uh, this deck. She used it in her certification. She's a certification student of mine. Used it in her homework and I was like, whoa, that coloration. Hang on, I'm gonna try and 
turn some of these because they seem to all be upside down. Um, she was using it in her homework and I was like, oh my stars, like what version of the Rider Waite Smith has got this color, this color palette and she told me it was the Abino Weight, so that's the back. And I went out and got it. <laughs> and I really enjoy, oh man, come on. I really enjoy this coloration. Um, and I just think it's a really fun, different, I like lining up sometimes all the different Rider Waite Smiths that I've got and having a look at how, you know, the colors are different, has something been changed? Because everything that was done with the, the Rider Waite Smith was done under heavy instruction. Um, you know, and Pixie was a magical person herself. So, um, yeah, it's always fun to, to see the differences between the, the decks. This is very like, it's just the color of a lot of the cards, especially the pentacle suit has got green. Cause there's a lot of yellow, like that lover's card. There's a lot of yellow in the Rider Waite Smith and that really put me off. Of it to begin with that really bright like in your face <laughs> yellow was like oh that's ugly <laughs> now I it does not throw me as much but it was a very unwelcoming thing to my 15 year old eyes I was like no nah. um, probably done on purpose <laughs> you know that yellow that shade that very specific shade of yellow it could have been that's just what was available when they printed it I don't know um, but now I don't mind it at all and then the last little drawer I actually use for files. And I can't show you everything in there because I'll have to kill you enough. It's got like every one of these files is a project I'm working on. It's got a copy of my uh, free Tarot by the Moon Guide. If you don't have it, go grab it. I should have it in the footer, I think, of my well, the Tarot spreads all year. Uh, so I print off a copy of that. So I've got it to work with. Um, tarot Summer School stuff, uh, the Love Deck, the Modern Love Tarot that I'm working on. There's a lot of, I like to handwrite, darn it, I like to handwrite a lot of things out. So I have like the Tarot Muses file in there. So every project has a spiral notebook and a folder, usually has more than one thing. Um, and then, oh my gosh, my desk is a little messy, but I'm going to quickly show you. I'm just looking for anything incriminating. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a little messy because um, I've been working all day. But then we, I'm going to lift this up. So then we have um, all of my books. There's more decks in there and there. Never mind the cup and the chocolate. So you get to see what really is a glass of water. Um, notebooks crystals, my very dusty <laughs> and all of my like geeky stuff on here. So that's a little bit of my space. Oh, and I have a big, let's I'll show you my altar. Um, so that Groot was given to me by a cover member, isn't he cute? So I have that Groot mug. That's where I keep my background thing when it's not doing its job. Uh, my little Groot mug, one of the, my Awakened Soul cover members, which you can become a member of at any time. Sent me that in the cute. Sorry, it needs dusting, I know. So this is <laughs> one of my big working altars. So we have um, some bones, lots of deity statues, the Sedna spirit doll that I made. Lots of, I've got a healing rock circle and candle space for anyone who needs healing. I activate that. Put group back here. Um, there are more tarot decks in that chest back there. A working candle, more tarot decks in that little one as well. Sprays, oils, lip balms. Yeah, so that's pretty much my space. Uh, calendar, affirmations, Moroccan light, all my text training, a lot of my text and training stuff, stationery, you know, pretty much 
a Mario balloon, <laughs> my baby, oh, my beautiful baby. So that's my space. Um, I hope you enjoyed my little tour. That's what I, how, where I sit all day, every day. And uh, yeah, throw some questions if you got them. But um, this is not where all my decks are. I also have so many bookshelves full of decks. This is just the ones that I have working out at the moment. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, bye.